Now, what solution SAP has? SAP has one basic solution: inventory management. Okay, inventory management is as simple. Basically, you will be having a storage location, and on the storage location, you would be managing the stock. So, system will be telling you on a particular storage location that is your stock for that particular material or for that batch. So, IEM also is a good functionality. It gives you the stock monitoring on the uh, storage location level, uh, material level. And the batch level, it would be giving you the visibility. What is the stocks available at that level? But in the bigger warehouses, when the racks are there and then the other individual bins are there, uh, inventory management cannot provide that kind of solution. So if your warehouse is bigger, there is uh, multiple pallets, multiple different kind of storage types are there, then only inventory management will not help. Then you need to go with SAP WM. So WM would be having a storage bin level control within the Within the uh, storage location, there would be storage bins and you will be having a storage bin control there. Okay, at the bin level, you would be mentioning that within storage location, within that particular bin, I am placing my pallet. Okay, if you want to know that in big warehouse, exactly which storage type, which storage bin my material is there, system would be able to tell you. That is w, SAP WM. Uh, Mr. Naidu would be talking more about the difference between WM and EWM. Okay, I, I leave it to him. Then it comes the EWM. EWM would be having a advanced functionalities would be there in EWM, okay? Uh, advanced placement and removal strategies. A lot of things which would be there in WMS functionality wise is also there in EWM, but EWM would be having more enhanced functionality. Advanced placement and removal strategies would be there. Multi-client warehousing, it would be able to handle. It would be also be having decentralized warehousing where the different, different systems you are having and uh, uh, it can connect for the warehouse management system. It can connect with the decentralized system where the WMS has been managed. So that kind of options would be there. Dock scheduling, labor management, uh, uh, deconsolidation, slotting, flexible process modeling where the steps and activities would be there. A lot of bouncers, right? <laughs> right now, stay on, okay? If it is bouncer, stay on. Uh, some part we, we will be talking about later when Mr. Naidu is explaining. And uh, a lot of parts you would be able to understand in the detailed training because each topic is one hour topic, okay? So these all advanced functionality would be there in EWM. So what does SAP S4 HANA has? SAP S4 HANA, you can go ahead with IEM. You said, I don't want a complex warehouse. My story locations are simple. I'm good with IEM. Story location is good for me. You can go ahead with IEM. Nothing stops you. It's not mandatory. WM, you can go ahead, but WM will sunset. WM is available in SAP S4 HANA. It was in ECC. It is also available in SAP S4 HANA, but it is going to sunset by 2025 was the earlier date. I, I don't know the correct date, but uh, the blogs which I've read, it is going to extend by 2027 or 28. So after that, SAP would not be supporting SAP WM and all the clients need to move from SAP WM to SAP EWM. Now SAP EWM earlier, it was a separate, when ECC was there, it was a separate box. ECC and uh, EWM system gets connected with each other. EWM was a decentralized system on SCM box. And in ECC, you was having your ERP system. So uh, uh, decentralized EWM was available. Now we have an embedded EWM is also available that within the same system, the EWM would be available. So what I'm saying that this is S4 HANA system. This is your basic ERP system where all the procurement sales functionality is there. And on top of that, we have an EWM in between of this system. Okay, earlier, what was there? Earlier, you was having this ECC system, separate system. And this was your EWM system, both get connected with SIF. Now, this is making a lot of infrastructure simplified, a lot of processes getting simplified with this. That's why based once after the embedded EWM came, the number of resources which is required for EWM suddenly shoot up. And when SAP announced that they are removing WM support by 2025, now in the market, if you learn EWM, and put it in your CV in a correct way, you would be having a shower of interview calls, okay? Decentralized EWM is still there. You, all, you can also have a decentralized EWM system for S4 HANA. Later on, maybe in the training, I would be able to explain you that why still decentralized systems, EWM system would be required. It has its own functionality. It has an old sale point, right? So still decentralized system would be required by companies 
to fulfill the business requirements like 24 by 7 operations of EWM is supported to the decentralized EWM system. Now, within uh, this uh, uh, EWM or D embedded EWM or decentralized EWM, actually, I put it wrong. This both would be going. Uh, this both would be going here. Yeah. So within embedded EWM, you would be having advanced EWM and basic EWM. Two things is there. Basic EWM would be there, and advanced EWM would be there. Now, what is the basic difference here? The basic EWM is a part of license. So you have a basic S4 HANA license. With that basic S4 HANA license, the basic EWM also you would be able to use it. Why? Because SAP wants their clients to move. Earlier they were using SAP WM. Now SAP cannot come with the force boss. Now in S4 HANA, you take S4 HANA license and you also take EWM license. But they said that we were having a simple functionalities which we were using in WM and I'm happy with that. So there should be some solution in S4 HANA, which provide the basic WMS system functionality. So SAP is divided it licensing in two. Same thing they also did in uh, TM also. So they come up with the basic EWM, with basic EWM, the basic function which was there in WM, you would also be able to use with the same licensing. So it would be easy for the businesses moving from WM to EWM without any additional licenses. And they said that advanced features in EWM, if you want to use it there, this you need to pay an additional license fee. This would be having additional license. Advanced EWM, additional license. Basic EWM is covered in the basic license of S4HANA. Okay. Separate system is not required because it's embedded. Okay. But there can be some. So if you're using EWM and if you're touching the advanced functionality, advanced part, Make sure that you are aware about the licensing part. Otherwise, SAP would be doing an audit and they will come back after a year or two. Boss, you use this functionality. This is our bill. You need to pay us. Right? So make sure you know about this licensing part. I have some small comparison also that what functionalities would be available in uh, basic EWM and what functionalities would be available in advanced EWM. So you can see here. These are the basic functionalities which will be available in basic uh, EWM. So your inbound processing, outbound processing, handling units, reporting, stock transparency, resource management is supported by EWM. But there are certain functionalities which is available only with the additional license. What are those functionalities? Material flow systems, advanced wave management, yard management, labor management, kitting. So these all Maybe some of them would be bouncer for you as of now, if you have not worked into the WMS system, but no worries. Our good part is that if you take part in the trainings, even you don't know about WMS, even you have not visited a big warehouse uh, by your own, we will visualize, we'll first getting you visualize that what is the warehouse. Uh, Mr. Naudi, Naidu is expert in that. And then we will be talking about what is wave management, what is yard management, what is labor management, what is kitting, why do we require those processes? So these are the additional processes which will require additional license. Now, how many different ways to have manage your inventory in uh, S4HANA? One way, two way, three way, four way, five way, answer on the chat window. How many different ways we can manage the inventories Okay, in S4HANA? Answers on the chat window, quickly. One way, two way, three, four, five, six. What are the different ways? What are the different implementations you can do? Over the chat window quickly. Three ways, four ways, two ways. Okay, multiple things. Let's see. Keep on answering. Keep on answering. Yes, yeah, just keep on answering. So in S for Hana, first let me use another color. First is you can say, I, I will have only SAP IEM. Okay, that can be the first thing. Second thing you can say, I can have a SAP WM for now, but you can right now in 2020, 2021, 1909, WM is there, SAP WM is there, you can have it. And later on, I will switch to EWM. That can be your second option. Third option can be that I would be using embedded EWM with basic functionalities only. That's your fourth, third option. Fourth option can be, I would be using embedded EWM with advanced EWM functionalities. This is my fourth option. Fifth option is I would be using decentralized S4HANA EWM system. Uh, 
EWM on S4 HANA, but only the EWM functionality is there, a separate EWM system. So this is the fifth. So five different ways are there by which you can manage your inventories. Earlier, the things were simple, right? In ECC, only two ways, either IM or WM. Now, IM, WM, EWM, embedded EWM, decentralized EWM, basic one or advanced one. So a lot of things is there, right? Complex, right? Complexity is always good for the consultants. You will make bread and butter as a consultant. When the things are complex, you need more knowledge and more people to explain and clarify to business. So thanks for SAP to making it complex. <laughs> Okay.